Hey everyone, RC Addict here once again, and today I have some great news that just came down the pipe from DJI. They announced the DJI Phantom 3, and I'm very, very, very excited about this. I wanted to get it out there to you guys and talk a little bit about why I'm so excited about it. Um, their Phantom quadcopters are like among the best in the world, okay? If you've ever flown one, a kid can fly one, okay? They're that easy to fly, super stable, self-leveling. Uh, they hover in uh, the GPS column lock. Uh, there's just so many great features about them. And then they have these uh, gimbals, these brushless gimbals on them for stabilization of the camera. So you get awesome aerial video of wherever you're at. And they're, they're especially the Phantom 2 series, they're ultra reliable as far as avoiding flyaways and stuff like that. Now there's a certain amount of features that are lacking on these and the biggest one on the Phantom 2 Vision Plus is so supposed to be this great uh, quadcopter that integrates the camera and your, your iPad and everything, ground station and all that stuff. Well the downlink wasn't that great and some of the other features of it just wasn't, it just wasn't up to snuff on there. And then they came out with the DJI Inspire 1. It's like $3,000 though. And if you've never seen a DJI Inspire 1, go look it up. It's very expensive. Um, but what it has is a, a 720p downlink to your, your ground station on your controller so you'd be able to see where you're at. Uh, Real-time video from up to a mile away. And it's 720p so you can really see what the heck you're filming uh, so you can film it properly. Great, great platform. It has ultrasonic sensors on the bottom of it so you can fly inside, let's say inside a warehouse or even a, a generally large space so you can fly indoors and be stable, okay? Like you're when you're outside with the GPS. Great, it's a little big, it's a little expensive. What I wanted was all those features that like on, on, on the Inspire 1 to be built into the DJI Phantom. Uh, so with the Phantom 3 that just announced it maybe, maybe a half an hour ago, it's basically, the, to sum it up, a DJI Phantom 3 is going to be a DJI Inspire 1 in this package right here and at this price point. So the Pro version is $9.99, which all the new ones include a camera now, built-in camera. It's a huge camera with a lens on it that takes 4K videos like the Inspire 1, okay? Everything's gimbal stabilized and um, it's ultrasonic sensors. Also, the other thing on the Inspire 1, Inspire 1's great, right? Only has 16 to 18 minutes if you're lucky of runtime. That is total BS. These get 22, 23 with all these gadgets on them. Perfect, right? Guess what? Phantom 3, same thing, 22, 23 minutes of flight time. Ultrasonic sensors, 4K camera, 720p downlink, and there's a host of other features on there also. Improved GPS, they're locking on to more satellites now. That's always good. This thing's expensive, right? You don't want to fly away. It has all those locks on, on, on the, um, the more GPS satellites, the less of a chance of a flyaway. They've improved uh, uh, circuitry and software, and of course, motors. I, think, I don't know if the blades are new or not. The blades are same like this, where they're automatically locking, so that's a nice feature because the Inspire 1 had some problems with the, the blades flying off, whereas these ones are self-locking. So they brought the self-locking uh, and continued onto the Phantom 3 also. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Between that, all the features on it, and the updated circuitry and software, and high efficiency motors, and like I said, it's 23 minutes of runtime. It's absolutely perfect. Uh, for this kind of platform on there that record anything you need. That 16 to 18 on the Inspire wall is BS. So I'm very, very excited about it. And the biggest thing is the price. $9.99 for the Pro version, which has everything except the camera is 1080p, okay? And then the, the other version, I uh, forget what it's called already, the Ultimate or whatever, there's two versions. The, the, the most uh, expensive version is like $12.59. So that's the same price as the DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus is selling for right now. So the pricing is perfect, the amount of features is perfect, I'm glad I waited, I cannot wait for it to come out, I'm gonna buy one as soon as they come out, you know, and just go out and start flying and catch up some 4K uh, stabilized video, and of course the cool part is those ground points, you can make those waypoints on the ground station on your iPad and say go and now I can watch it in 720p. So I'm very, very excited. Look out in the future for a video of me uh, um, um, 
unboxing it, setting it up, going over the features in detail, and of course flight videos, and, and then tips and tricks along the way. Be, if that thing comes out in spring, like I'm thinking it's going to, you know, next month or so here, we're gonna have a lot of content through the summer. And if you don't know, I'm Fort of Make You Loco from my other channel, and I'll be traveling across the country, okay, uh, fixing Fords for people in need, okay, free of charge, great, great cause, right? I'm bringing along my quadcopters and some, uh, at least one RC uh, along the way for all the stuff we run into. The great stuff that's out there, the Utah Monuments, uh, the Grand Canyon. Uh, there's a lot of different stuff out there. Montana uh, for climbing at the RC cars and flying around on. I, don't, I know the Grand Canyon you can't fly at, but there, there's tons of spots uh, across the U.S. to capture amazing, amazing, amazing uh, footage. So be on the lookout. It's going to get really exciting, uh, especially in the next couple of months here.